Hello everyone, this is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching all of you how you can create an installable copy of the Mac operating system OS X Mavericks and put it on a USB flash drive. Now there are three things that you're going to need to know before doing this. First, of course, you're going to need a flash drive that is at least 8 gigs in size. If you do not own one, there is a link to one that you can buy in the description of this video. Secondly, you are going to need access to a Mac that is running OS 10.6, also known as Snow Leopard, or later. And finally, if your account on your Mac does not have an administrator password, you do need to add one in order to do this. Now let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is go into the App Store on the Mac. And on the right hand side here, you're going to see a button for OS 10 Mavericks. Click on that and click up here to download the file. Now this file is constantly being updated by Apple, so as of today's date, 10.9.2 is the current version, but when 10.9.3 comes out, this version will be available here. As of today, this is 5.3 gigabytes in size, so depending on how fast your internet connection is, will determine how long this takes. Close the App Store when you're done with that and plug in your flash drive. You can see mine is right up here at the top right. Now what we need to do is go into Disk Utility. Easiest way to get there, just click on Spotlight at the top right of your Mac. Type in the word Disk, D-I-S-K, and hit Enter. Now you're going to need to simply select your flash drive. Go over here to the Erase tab and click. And this part is very important. Do not change the name of your flash drive. It should be called Untitled. If you do change it, you need to know how to change code in Terminal. And if you don't, just don't try to mess with this part. Now simply click Erase. It only takes about 20 seconds or so. I'll fast forward the video so you guys don't have to wait. And when it's done, you can close out of Disk Utility. Next, we're going to need to go into the Terminal. For that, once again, go back up here to Spotlight and type in Terminal and hit the Enter key. Now in the description of this video, you will find a short piece of code, which all you need to do is copy and paste right here. When you've pasted it, hit the Enter key, and now you're going to have to type in the password to your computer. Now as you type that password, you are not going to see this right here move. It's going to stay still. So type it in, typing in mine, hit the enter key when you're done, then hit Y for yes, and enter again, and that's it. This whole process is going to take about 20 minutes. It will say very clearly when it's done. If you need to install Mavericks, of course the way you would do that is you would have to turn off the computer that's going to receive the upgrade, and then when you turn it on, you'd hold down the option key which is your way of telling the computer that you want it to boot from a different source. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. I hope you found this video useful. Should you be watching us on YouTube right now, please, if you would click that little like button, we certainly do appreciate it. And you can find all of our classes and more on our website at PCClassesOnline.com. This is David A. Cox. Thanks for watching. Take care.